Hello, Salaam Alaikum guys and welcome back to another video. It's Ibrahim Muslim and today I'm back with another video on Hackintosh. So this video is on how to fix your Hackintosh USB 3 3.1 ports forever. So this is gonna be a permanent fix until unless Apple changes the way they use their USB ports. So this fix will work on Hisera, Sera, Mojave and almost every latest Mac OS version and you don't need to do any 15 port limit patches every time you update whole of the operating system or you do a partial update that means you do a 10.14.1 or 14.2 or 14.2 or 14.3 update so this fix is gonna be a permanent fix for all of the major updates and you don't need anything else than that so before we proceed I'm gonna show you that my USBs are connected to a USB 3.4 Board and you can see it's a 5 gigabits up to 5 gigabit speed and there is one port in USB 3 it is also 5 gigabit you can see it's 10.14.1 and for 10.14.1 there is no port limit patch yet so you can fix it with the old fashioned way in which you go to your config you go to your kernel and text patches and you add a patch here so right now you can see there is no patch in my kernel and text patches area so it's totally free of patch system and my usb is working if i go to boot there are no boot flags i'm using it's completely boot like less area and you can see my AS ACPI and there are a few patches you have to use. So what you have to do is you have to make a custom SSDT for your system. So this fix gonna make you love me as well because I'm gonna teach you on YouTube how to make a custom SSDT.ml to fix your USB 3.0 and 3.1 there are no current videos on this on YouTube at least I don't know any reasonably good video on this now you can find a couple of few four four five minute videos in which they teach you how to do that in a very rough and fast manner so you can see you have to make this SSDT so to begin this I have to re restart my system so the patch gets away and I'll I will teach you how to make that and one more thing there is a deal for those who are using gigabyte z 270 x gaming 3 5 and 7 motherboards or 8 motherboards they can get this custom already made ssdt for their motherboards on my patreon channel for 20 bucks and you can get that there and this will fix your usb forever and without any hardship so for those who don't have this system and for those who don't want to buy it i'm going to teach you and let's start it so i have to re restart my system and i'm going to do it after i close my video so we are back and i have just restarted my system and i'm going to show you my system report and we go down here in usb and now you can see the story is quite different usb 3 port there is a port which is literally not connected to it but it is showing that and in usb 3.1 i have connected my hub and everything is connected here because if i don't connect anything here it won't work properly and i will not be able to record the video so to begin the test what i will do is i'm gonna plug a usb into usb port and i'm gonna show you that if i plug it in usb 3 hub right here and i come back and i do a refresh you can see the usb will come here in usb 3.0 and it's connected to a 5 gigabit speed so it's basically the hub and the usb 3.1 port which is supporting the 5 gb per second link and if i go and it plug it anywhere else it, it's it's not going to show so to test our whole thing to make our usb 3 work you need at least a single usb or a usb hub which connects to usb 2 not to your usb 3 the usb hub can be a usb 3.0 hub because a usb 3.0 hub can basically or technically connect to both systems a usb 2 and a 3 so you can use that or you have to use a usb 2 usb if you will try to connect a usb 3 usb into usb 3 port it won't connect so the best thing is you use a hub or you use a usb 2.0 so let let me use my hub to display it here 
and I'm going to connect my USB 2 hub so I've just connected my USB 2 hub and I think it's gonna appear here so right under USB 3 there is a USB 2 hub and now if I connect my USB 3 to that hub it's gonna display and as I showed it it, it won't display otherwise so I'm gonna connect my USB 3 here and I'm gonna refresh so now this USB 3 is connected under this USB hub and you can see it's 480 MB per second so to start our creation of SSDT what we need is we need two main softwares and one of them is the IO registry explorer this is a must-to-have software and the other software is our ACP extruder and Mac ISL 2.0 and this software is the other one we need and let me check this one is working yep so what we now have to do is let me connect a USB in a USB 3 port so right now I have connected a USB into a USB 3 port and which won't display here so I'm just going to unplug it and now what you have to do is you have to open the Mac ASL first and you open it and you have to check that in preferences that the ASI.IASL is ACPI 6.2A and you have to click this and you can now for a minute you can close this and now you have to open your IO registry explorer now here what you have to do is you have to write a XHC and basically this way it's far more difficult to understand so you should click this one and now you have find the XHC and this one is basically USB 3 one so what we will do is we will write XHCI at the rate and it gonna go here so right now you can see it's empty but if you close this you're gonna find all the USB ports you have so if you read the article it's a hell of a difficult thing to understand what this gonna do so here you can see it's XHCI and here are the USB port so this is the virtual input output system of your Mac and now you can see a coordination going on here with this so let me make it small and visible now you can see that a four port USB 2.0 hub is connected here and if I go inside it you can see more hubs so now you can see there is no USB 3 connected to it so if I go here this is another if I go oh my god what is on if I go here and here and here so this is my USB 3 connected so this is the one port I have in my system and this is another port I have in my system so these are the two ports which are used by my system and you can read the name here so for the first thing you should do is you better take a screenshot of this and now you know the USB 3 is connected here which is connected to a USB 2 interface but at least it's a USB 3 now what you have to do is you have to connect this USB 2 hub with a USB 3 with every port on your system with each and every port on your system so right now everything is high speed USB high speed high speed high speed it calls it everything high speed and now you will see what when I will change the port there will be another arrow here and it will locate to another position you can also name the positions if you want to but it's not necessary so let me unplug the USB here I unplugged it and it's gonna be crossed so it's red now I unplugged it and I'm gonna insert it in another port and ta-da here is my another port now you can read this and if you go in deep here there is a USB 3 connected to it and now what I have to do is I have to connect it to another port on my motherboard and we are finding the ports basically we are finding all the ports which are available on my motherboard and one more arrow and if I take it out it's gonna be red green means new green means a new inserted port black mean a already connected port and red means a port which is removed 
or a device which is removed and we're gonna connect it to my another port and tada it's connected here right here you can see and now I'm gonna connect to my another port and tada I came to this one and what I have to do is I have to connect to my last port and I think I have connected it with every port but let me see which one is for me so I have connected um, one more thing to my USB 3 port and it did not appear anywhere else so I have connected a USB to each and every one of the USB port available on my system and I have figured out that my system is quite synchronized and all of the ports that I am using are in a sequence one two three four five six till six so this might not be the case with you it can be anywhere on this port so it can be here on 14 on 9 on 10 or 11 or 1 or 2 so it's going to be different for you and that's what we're going to solve we need to know the usb ports our system is used and is connecting to to get our usb 3 properly functioning so i will recommend you to take a screenshot of this and we're going to take a screenshot of this so these are my ports one to six 